Good afternoon. Welcome to Noonday Prayer for Wednesday, March 3rd, in the second week of Lent. This will include a brief meditation. An order of service for Noonday on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 119, your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I'm deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This gospel is for the feast day of John and Charles Wesley. Anglican priests who started the Methodist Church. Jesus, this comes from the Gospel of Luke chapter 9, Jesus sent out the twelve to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal. He said to them, take nothing for your journey, no staff, no bag, nor bread, nor money, not even an extra tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. Wherever they do not welcome you, as you are leaving that town, shake the dust off your feet as a testimony to them. They departed and went through the villages, bringing the good news and curing diseases everywhere. Thanks be to God. Just like you to sit with this passage as a, as a vision for your own life of the proclamation of the kingdom of God that is breaking in and is near to us, is available to us. The reign of the love of God ushered in and revealed by Jesus, the desire of God for all the world to surrender to a deeper love among us and within us, a regard and respect for every human being, a capacity for justice and care and equality and integrity, and just a, just a deep regard for every person as friend, an equality and equity embodied doing the best we can. This is the kingdom of God. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. And it's breaking in and it's among us and it's the purpose that we can live our lives for. And we can preach it and teach it. And if somebody doesn't get on board with us, we just shake the dust off our feet like those first apostles did sent out to every town to heal, to restore people to love, a life of love, a vision of an inbreaking, of restored life everywhere. That we just keep that vision in mind, even when things aren't working well. That's what we hold in mind and work toward, a, a restoration of everything, ourselves and each other and a whole life and a healed life and a life of wholeness everywhere. A life to be enjoyed, a life of challenge, a life of resource, where there's enough, a revealing of abundance. I hope this Lenten time you are uh, opening your heart to the inbreaking of the kingdom. That's the purpose of our life, a pointing towards, uh, a looking for the reign of God's love in all things, at our birth, at our death, and at all times in between. And that you're finding a way to, to orient your life toward that hope that is in us, that we live towards. Maybe we don't get there. John and Charles Wesley 
mission in America in many ways was was a failure. They just couldn't adapt. And in other ways, it later became a, quite a success. Uh, but it wasn't for them to see the success, like kind of like Moses. He didn't see the prom he saw the promised land, but didn't enter it. And so that's that's true of, of us as well, that, that we we witness and point to the kingdom and maybe we don't we don't enter it. But it gives us something to orient our lives around and for the inbreaking of the love of God in all places of our life. Every aspect, every dimension of your life can surrender to the love of God in Christ that embraces our life fully. Think about it. Orient yourself that way. Let it be your life's purpose. And in so doing, may you find yourself made whole. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Lord God, you inspired your servants, John and Charles Wesley, with burning zeal for the sanctification of souls and endowed them with eloquence in speech and song. Kindle in your church, we entreat you such fervor that those whose faith has cooled may be warmed, and those who have not known Christ may turn to him and be saved, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds strong in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you, those you love and pray for, now and always. Amen. Just invite your prayers for that orientation toward the kingdom restoration of everything. Hold up in your prayer everything that needs to be restored and, and wait for it. Long for it. Allow the Spirit to work in you.